What's up boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of The Girl of Glass, A Summer Bird's Tale. We just got the hats, uh, the uh, Ringmaster's hats, last episode from the uh, Rat King, very fitting. Uh, and uh, at the same time taught him a valuable lesson of uh, not having to terrorize people under you so they respect you. <laughs> Which is rather nice. Uh, like, yeah, let's go back to the Ringmaster's here. Let's return the hat, get the car keys and bolt. Leave town. Skip. Leave er everyone in our dust. There you go, mate. There's your hat back. Hopefully your confidence as well. My hat! I was so worried. I do not know what I would do. I would be without you. Uh, you'd be hatless. <laughs> do not interrupt us. Can you not see I'm having a special moment with my hat? Oh, God. He's <laughs> rather one, uh, rather special one indeed. Get room, you two. <laughs> ah, he drew the... What? A spider in my hat. There is a spider in my hat. I hate spiders. Kill, kill it. Take this and smash it. Apparently, the ringmaster was so scared of spiders that he couldn't even watch. The spider also seemed intimidated and crawled back in under the hat. What? What is that? A rolled up newspaper. Uh, do I have to smash it? Do I? Can we not just pick it up and put it outside? Oh god. The ringmaster was still covering his eyes. Now was a good time to take the car keys. The spider could wait. That is very true. I don't... <laughs> Why didn't I even think of that? What is happening? Is the spider crushed yet? Uh, just a minute. See ya! I should probably take care of the spider before I leave the Ringmaster. Nah, just leave him. <laughs> Alright, just pick her up please, don't smash her. Why is this fool crying? I was just chilling in my new hat crib and suddenly this enormous moron throws me on the ground. The spider dude's enormous? Yeah, and you know what, bro? This kind of treatment pisses me off. It makes me upset, so upset I wanna fight. Uh, I don't want to fight you, but I'm sorry he did that. He's just really scared of your kind. Your kind? What are you talking about, your kind? Now I really want to fight you. Whoa, you're very sensitive for a bug. Uh, sorry, that came out wrong. Uh, fine. <laughs> sorry, that came out wrong. Who are you talking to? Nobody. And now you're calling me a nobody? Yeah, I got my blood all pumping. Yeah, I gotta fight. Uh, maybe another time. Then I'm out of here. This place sucks anyway. See ya, wimps. <laughs> it's gone. You can look again. Die! Oh, he jumped onto his hat. What are you doing? The spider's gone. They lay eggs. I cannot risk it. They <laughs> there might be a spider eggs in my hat. My jaws just burned the whole, the whole uh, camper van thing. Little did the ringmaster consider that Crystal was the girl of glass. And like a bull in a china shop, he knocked her over. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Crystal hit her head against the desk, but she was more shocked than hurt. Oops. Are you stupid? You could have killed me, you idiot. Idiot? You think I am an idiot? You're the biggest idiot I've ever met, which is ironic considering your size. I wish you'd had never taken me into this damned circus. But I thought we were best friends? Best friends? We're not even friends. It's just nice. I'm just nice to you because I have to. I see. Yeah, and you, will you please stop talking like a freaking robot? It's so annoying. What do you mean? I speak like a robot. You sound like this. Hello, I am the ring master. Please be my friend. I do not spit like that. Close enough. I wouldn't be surprised if you were actually a tin man underneath that silly mustache. You are being very rude. Whatever. You just annoy me, that's all. Thank you. For finding the hat? No, for telling me the truth about how you feel. You are relieved. A may now, a you may now. You may go now. Are you okay? Sorry, I... Leave me be. 
Are you sure? Go! I want to be alone! Crystal got the car keys, but she had messed up royally. She didn't mean all those things she said. She had just been caught up in the moment. But what could she do? It was too late to take it back. I uh, was being an asshole anyway. She tried not to think about it. That's fine. But just leave him be. You can sulk all on your own, Ringmaster. We are out of here. I got the keys, boy. Let's go. Roll out. Transformers. Crystal had finally obtained the car keys. She just had to show them to the boy. Alright. Gotta show them the goods. Here we go. Car, key <laughs> car keys and the guilty conscience. That's fine. It'll blow over in a day or two. Whoa, you actually stole, um, I mean, borrowed the keys without the ringmasters finding out? Yep. Nice. I didn't think you had the balls. <laughs> so, are you ready to go? Uh, yeah, as ready as I'll ever be, I guess. Great. The boy looked under the hood to inspect the engine one last time before they drive off. So, anyway, I uh, wanted to ask you. I saw a fascinating girl in the show. She was incredibly strong. It was amazing. Who is she? Oh, that's strong girl. She really is incredible. Uh, her performance is fake. I'm not gonna crush his dreams. <laughs> you like uh, strong girls? Uh, matey, uh, I don't wanna seem a bit insecure here. Uh, let's just say anything. Or not say anything. What's wrong? Wait. Are you jealous? Ah, it backfired. You know who is even more fascinating than Strong Girl? Who? You, silly. I'm asking you to run away with me after all, not her. Yeah, that's best for you because she's not into boys. <laughs> but just so we're on the same page, do you mean she doesn't like boys or... Are you, you are very interested in Str Strong Girl, to be honest. As in she only dates men? Nah, she doesn't like men either. But don't tell anyone, it's a secret. I see. Just uh, one more thing to check with the engine and then we're ready to go. Is he a spy? I'm starting to think he's a spy or something. What the? Don't tell me. Hmm, this is strange. He was here when I checked yesterday. What's wrong? Someone must have removed the battery from the car. The engine won't start without it. Oh god. I saw a large battery in the outhouse. I think the clown used it to power the reading lamp. Good. I was worried we'd have to cancel our plans. Um, uh, but the house house door is locked from the inside. That's too bad. <laughs> that means we're gonna have to crawl our way in through the bottom, if you know what I mean. Maybe you have something in your pockets? I don't have any pockets. Uh, sorry, I mean backpack. Something is in your bag you could use to open the hasp from the outside? I have nothing. The only thing I have in my back backpack are these documents I found in the bunker beneath the circus. Really? Let me see. Ah, this is interesting. Uh, what does it say? Well, first of all, the butterfly emblem suggests it's a rebel document. My dad used to encourage me to join the army to fight the rebels. But I don't like guns. Yeah, I see you more of a sword guy. Or a stick. Stick and a bag guy. Besides, the military officers would probably treat you like garbage. What do you know about the military? The clown told me that he and his squad were treated badly. He used to be in the army, but now he's here? That's strange, considering the war is still waging. Maybe, but uh, what does the paper say? Oh, is the clown in hiding? Is he a deserter? That's very interesting. That's why he puts on makeup so no one recognizes him, I guess. Hmm, let me see. It says that they have found a sewer tunnel beneath, between the prison and the bunker, and that they will use it to smuggle out their comrades. Aha! What is it? There's a warning here to watch out for the hole in the tunnel ceiling. Apparently one of the rebels got hit by shit in the heads. <laughs> oh, that's... that's, uh, that's what, that was my guess. That's what I said. We're gonna have to crawl. Ha! Ah, that must be the outhouse hole. That might be a way in. That's disgusting though. <laughs> but there's a combination lock keeping the gate to the sewers shut. Actually, there's something about a lock in the code here. The code is 2857. Alright, 2857. Great, then I could. Ugh. Blech. Climb in from the beneath and get the battery. Sounds like a plan. 
But I will completely ruin my shoes if I walk into the sewers like this. <laughs> That's such a girly thing to say. So you go and do it then, boy. Damn it. I guess you better find some more appropriate footwear then. On that topic, I'm wet and cold. I don't know how much longer I can wait here. Just go inside the car. Why wouldn't you go inside the car? Yes, yes, I'll hurry. So the plan was to access the outhouse from beneath. But she had to find appropriate footwear before she could enter the sewers. Alright, we need to find some shoes, I guess. Uh, where do I start? Maybe the clown can give me his shoes or something? Let's talk to him. I've told you everything I know, I promise. I believe you. Phew. By the way, little miss, will you please help me down from here? I am terribly scared of heights. It's also diddly dang cold in the rain. Uh, sure, do you wanna... I have a ladder. Ha! Ah, little miss, my savior! I thought you had forgotten about this poor old clown. <laughs> of course not. Thanks. I'm a diddly dodge this rain. See you later, little miss. Alright. Uh, was that it? Oh, we can go through the hole here? That's interesting. Crystal climbed the ladder and crawled through the hole in the tent roof. Then she crawled out on the beam as if there was no tomorrow. She managed to grab the Wellington. Ah, uh, there they are. But as if she was cursed, she once again lost her balance and fell. This time, there was no soft teddy bear to land on. She's gonna land on the clown. But there happened to be an unusually tall lady there to catch her. What were you thinking, young lady? If you had hit the ground, you could have died. Do you have no regards for your own life? Gosh, I'm so upset. I don't even know what to say. Neither Crystal knew what to say. At least she had the Wellingtons. She put them on. Well, many thanks for saving us. Uh, that's the second person that saved us from falling. Do you have anything else to say? I... no. Alright. Guess not. Alright, uh, thanks, I guess. Did I put on the Wellingtons? Yeah, I did. Alright. Alright, let's crawl into this sewer. And go up the... Pole of shit. <laughs> Oh, there's this freaking spider right here. I uh, guess we're gonna have to fight her. You! First you throw me out, then you come here to rub it in my face! I didn't expect to find you here. You say that, but your eyes tell me you're here for a fight. Don't worry, I'll give her what she wants. Just prepare to get swooped. Here we go. Okay, let's do this, you twit. Oh man, when I'm done with you... They don't even they won't even recognize your face. I'm so pumped. It's a tiny spider thing. He only has four life. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that was it. Ugh! I might have o I might have overestimated my strength. I can see the light. I'm walking towards it. Look at my beautiful wings. Am I an angel now? Mima, is that you? Are we in heaven? Why are you holding your shoe? Aren't you happy to see me? <laughs> please don't hit me. No, no, please. This is not heaven, this is hell. Ah, la, 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 la. <laughs> What's a, what a horrible way to die. Oh, I kind of feel bad for the spider now. Dang it. If she wasn't so... Uh... Crystal entered the code the boy had read from the rebel document. The combination lock made a clicking sound and opened. And the Wellingtons kept her feet dry. Stubborn. That's what I wanted to say. If only the spider hadn't been so... There's a huge crocodile here! Uh, hadn't been so stubborn, she wouldn't have died. Man, that kind of sucks. What is... Am I going... I'm going to have to fight the crocodile? I think that's the only way we... No. Shit. Pressed the wrong thing. Hold up. Alright, maybe he's friendly or something. Crystal was in luck. As the rebel document had suggested, the outhouse hole was accessible from the other side of the tunnel. But between her and the hole was a large alligator. Sorry, alligator. Ugh. 
Why are you trespassing in my lair? Speaking up now, frail girl. Why do you disturb my slumber? I'm looking for a way into the house. You seek to enter the hole in the ceiling to an ascend to the lands of gods? Uh, yes. Then you must first pass me. Ali, the gatekeeper. You may call me Ali Gator, for short. <laughs> That's just alligator with extra steps, which is dumb, so I'll stick to the full name. But more importantly, are you going to eat me? I could, but you do not look very tasty. Besides, the gods provide me with enough nourishment already. Yuck. Oh, he's, he's talking about shit. Oh, God. <laughs> the gods, the crapper. Oh, my God. <laughs> I will offer you a deal, frail girl. I shall allow you to safely cross my domain and enter the hole in the ceiling if, and only if, you make me laugh. Laugh? Why? It has been so long. Gatekeeping for the gods is a lonely job and boring. I have not laughed in years. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> Let's see. Uh, a penguin, a rabbit and a horse walk into a bar. Um, can the kangaroo jump higher than the house? Hmm, bar joke is always a good joke, I guess. I don't know. That would never happen! It's a freaking alligator. Of course a simple joke wouldn't work. Everyone knows alligators have a sophisticated sense of humor. But I'm anything but sophisticated. So what am what am I going to do? The tamer used to tell me trivia about all kinds of animals. What did he say about alligators? Think, think. Now I remember. They're ticklish under their chin. No way I'm gonna stick my hands in here. I'll need something else. Look at me. I mean the sewers, planning to tickle an alligator. It's been a long day. I cannot hear what you're saying. If that is supposed to make me laugh, it is not working. I have a plan, I think. I'll be back. See you later, alligator. Does that make him laugh? Really? Not even a chuckle? Nothing. Tough crowds. Crystal's plan was to tickle the alligator, but she was not stupid enough to use her own hands for it. Right, uh, we do have a gun, just shoot. <laughs> do we have a rolled up newspaper? Do you like the news? Maybe there's a funny section in there. That thing will not make me laugh! Alright, fair enough. We gotta go back, I guess. Uh, is there like a feather or something to tickle him? Maybe. Is there anything here? Don't think so. All right, let's go. Let's go up. That's a tall lady again. Maybe she, she has something we can use, or maybe a hint. Um, how do you even smoke in the rain? I do not. I am trying to quit. That's great. Well, I am not doing it to impress you. Will you please leave me alone? Fine, whatever. Let's see if there's anything inside here that we can use. Oh, the clown is here. That's fine. Um... Hmm, I wonder if we can... Point... point a mirror at the alligator? Maybe he finds himself funny. I don't know. Uh, are you okay? That stunt you did today was quite dangerous. Indeed it was, little miss. But I am fine, diddly do. I'm happy you're okay. I am happy that you are happy, little miss. You run along now and have one fantastic day. Alright, guess that's all we're gonna get out of him. Tiny girl needs something. If not, then go. Uh, okay. Crystal had nothing to say to the bear. She had a rat to catch. No, I did not. That's the dialogue from before. <laughs> All right, let's see. Maybe strong girl can help me out. Oh, maybe a goose feather. The goose had moved into the circus. It was probably just a coincidence. Most of the time, crystal they looked. Oh yeah, exactly. Ticklish. Yeah, exactly. How can I? I went. In, I need one of the feathers. The goose had moved. It was mo crystal. Paid attention to its large tail feather. They look. How do we get? How do we get it? Do I have to shoot it. Oh god, please don't. 
Oh, we can't even use it, because it's hidden. Okay, that's fine. Uh, maybe we can find where the nest is or something? Uh, Strong Girl isn't here anymore. Looking for a feather. Yeah, I don't think it... I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, maybe... Maybe the stuffing in Giga Teddy? Maybe it's made of feathers? It could be. There's a potential for it. Or... Hmm, I don't know. Let's just... Let's... Uh, let's check it out. You and I both will get out of here someday. I'm sure of it. Okay. We already... Alright, nothing. Nothing done there. The... Maybe if you... Oh, strong girl is here. Uh, maybe if you... Did I see that ball before? I think I did. The large ball used to be... But since... Yeah. Hi there, buddy. Uh, hi. I'm glad you're here. Do you mind listening to something that's been bothering me? Uh, okay, yeah. Why not? It's about my girlfriend. It's just so difficult, you know? We want to be together, but the world wants us apart. It makes me feel so damn lonely. The world is wrong. I wish. This world is so cruel to everyone who is different. I can imagine you know that too. My girlfriend is from another culture, and she doesn't believe in the eagle. When they found out, they... They ruined her face. I still see her beauty, of course, but it makes me sick to my stomach. Gah! I wish I could just leave this stupid circus and be with her. But then I think about what would happen if we got caught. I'm sure there must be something I could do, but I'm too dense to figure it out. I just feel so heavy, like a rock, sinking deeper into the sea. I'm leaving the circus, come with me! That's, a su that's sweet of you, but I can't. The world isn't ready. So you're leaving the circus? How? Uh, with the b boy I met, we're taking the ringmaster's car. How rebellious! Please t don't tell the ringmaster. Of course not. I like that everyone is like... Protects each other and is all for one another, except the ringmaster, of course. <laughs> the world may be skewed, but knowing that there are people like you in it makes me feel better. Thanks, buddy. My name is Crystal. <laughs> of course. But we're still buddies, right? Yeah. Good. Preta and Crystal. I won't forget our time together. Crystal couldn't solve strong girl Petra's problems, but at least she felt good about being there to hear her out. That's nice. I mean, if the world isn't ready, you gotta make it ready, you know? But I know it's difficult at times, but why social movements happen? Gotta go with it. Fight the good fight, you know? Oh, what's this? It was a simple pot made of ceramics. While ceramic was heavy and looked sturdy, she had been told it was in fact no more reliable than glass. For a moment, she was happy that she was the girl of glass and not the girl of ceramic. Mm, okay, uh, is there anything else around here that we can use? I thought we could grasp a couple of like a couple of straws in this hay, in this hay, pail, 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 pail of hay. Right, grab a couple of straws and then just uh, work it out. But guess not. The box was. All uh, right, I don't think there's anything here that we can. Use probably. All right. Uh, let's go into the ringmaster's caravan. Maybe. Where is a horse, by the way? I was thinking we could grab some uh, the horse's hair or something like that. We just brush it; it falls off, and we could use those. But the answer is with the goose here. Hello. Leave me alone. Uh, can we please talk about it? I do not want to talk about it. Uh, let's talk about something else then. Like what? 
Um, the weather? I have no opinion on the weather. Really? I thought everyone loved to complain about the weather. How about reheated lasagna? Do you have any opinion on that? No. Wow, you're like an alien. Yes, and you are making me feel worse. Please leave. That, that's no good. Maybe we can... Uh, let's see if we can find something else. Uh, yes, information technology is not a very entertaining conversation topic. What is information technology? The future, old man. Well, I would not know anything about that. So leave me be. Uh, no dice. How am I going to get the, um... What the hell? How do we get the goose uh, Hold up. Let's talk to the boy. Maybe he has a hint or something. I've spoken to everyone. I don't really see a way of getting one of the feathers. How's it going? Um, I need to tickle an alligator, but I don't want to use my hands for it. Tickle an alligator? You must think I'm stupid. No, no, not at all. Have you thought about using a long feather? That's a great idea. But where am I going to find a long feather? Maybe there's a bird somewhere around you could pluck one from? Just lure it in with some bread. Aha! And shoes be no problem. All right. Yeah. But please hurry. I'm cold and hungry. Crystal could tell that the boy was growing impatient. That's a good idea, boy. Thank you. Once again, let's get the breads. Probably some of you are like, It's the damn bread. Lure the goose with the bread, you biggest. Well, to each his own... Uh, you already take butter. No, also take bread. Shouldn't you be going to bed soon? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't have time for this. If Crystal wanted the bread... She would need to distract the bear woman. Yes, God. Uh, do you want to read the news? Oh! Where? You find this. Never mind, just give. The bear woman dove right into the crime section. Oh, she loves it. Alright, take the bread. The bear woman was too busy reading the newspaper to notice Crystal taking the loaf. Sweet. Alright, we got the breads. Now let's lure the bird in. Crystal put a piece of bread on the hood to attract the goose. It worked. The goose carefully jumped down from the roof. Now carefully pluck one of the... Crystal gently plucked a tail feather from the goose. Quack? <laughs> Alright, we got it. Let's tickle an alligator. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that in any game. All right, here goes nothing. Will it make me laugh now? Yeah, just look at the ceiling. Okay, but I do not see anything out of the ordinary. Tickle, tickle. Oh, what is this bubbling sensation? It is almost as if I want to. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Laugh. <laughs> do not stop. <laughs> <laughs> How long do I have to do this? Ah, oh, I feel so good to laugh. Okay, you can stop now. Stop! Before I bite your hand off. Thank you, frail girl. Now I shall keep my hand of the bargain. You may pass and dine with the gods, as long as I may keep the laughing device. Crystal put the feather next to the alligator. But how would it use it? Its arms were too short. I'm sure you'll find out the way. I'm such a weirdo. Talking cats, rats, spiders, and now alligators. Maybe I should seek help. Well, it's clearly working. Maybe we have some special talent to talk to animals. Nah, if it works, it ain't stupid. Yeah, exactly. Crystal carefully walked past the alligator. Now, oh, is that a mountain of- The smell was awful, Ugh. but she took another deep breath and heaved herself up. Alright, we're in. Get the battery. This must be the car battery. Indeed it was. But the lamp had been on all night and completely drained the battery. 
She figured she could use the generator to charge it. Let's get out of here. Crystal knew exactly what had to be done, and she approached the generator with confidence. Crystal connected the battery to the generator to charge it. Turns out she had no idea what she was doing after all. Oh! The generator made a violent poof sound and died. Oh, sh shit! She had still Oops. no problem, she thought. She just had to climb the pylon to access the fuse box. Oh, that's gonna be something. Crystal climbed the pylon and successfully replaced the busted fuse. She's gonna fall again. Then she safely climbed down and put her feet on the ground. No time for more accidents, she thought. But as the old saying goes, don't count your chickens before they hatch. What's gonna happen? Something's gonna fall on her. The last thing she heard was a deafening crackling noise. She wasn't sure if it was she who had shattered. Or if the world had ended, everything was black. Uh, what the hell happened? Hello? Game? Oh, here we go. <laughs> She's waking up. Wonderful. Gosh, she had me worried. Uh... Why are you all looking at me like that? You were struck by lightning! You never cease to amaze me, young lady. I told you to be careful. Still, you climbed the pylon in your condition. What if you had fallen again? Chill. She didn't fall, did she? Tiny girl, very brave. Yeah, and she gotta have some kind of superpowers to survive a lightning strike like that. I guess, is it is glass conductive? Not really sure. Superpowers? Why am I not surprised a pervert like yourself believes in superpowers? No, she is alive because a higher power has a plan for her. I am so happy you are awake, little miss. Nothing more to see here, I suppose. How long was I out? A few hours. My head. The boy. I have to... The only thing you have to do, young lady, is rest. I just need to get some air. Fine, but go to bed immediately after. First, I have an announcement to make. I have given it a thought and decided what we will give the sheriff what he wants. Tomorrow, we pack our bags and become a traveling circus. Really? Wait. I have to agree, this is delightful news. May I also propose that we let the young lady join the circus performance? It's no secret we have a shortage of talent. And her lack of vertigo makes her <laughs> an ideal candidate for our new line dancer. As long as she has a safety net, of course. I will consider it. This was exactly what Crystal had wanted since the day she arrived at the circus. Yet, it did nothing but tie knots in her stomach. Crystal looked at their smiling faces. Was this the last time she saw them? Strangely, she felt closer to them than ever before. But it was too late to back out now. She could not stop thinking about the boy. He must be wondering what happened to her. Are we broken in any aspect? We did hear some crackling. Maybe we have to do a self-introspection uh, later. At least it seems the lightning charged the battery. I just hope the boy hasn't left without me. Oh, it is morning time already. He could have. I'm starting to think the boy isn't real at all. <laughs> now he's gone, but the car is still here. She was too late. The boy was gone. Oh yeah, because he didn't have any battery left in it. How could he... All this for nothing. I wish the lightning had just killed me. My head... Heart so bad. I should go to bed. Crystal left the battery by the car and returned to the caravan. Is that a good it idea? It had been a long day, and all the enthusiasm had left her like the air escapes an old balloon. But it wasn't all bad. She had gotten to know the circus crew a little better. Sure, they had their flaws, but so did Crystal. 
Perhaps she belonged in the circus, after all. Tomorrow she would apologize to those she had been hard on, and show more appreciation, she told herself. And the ringmaster had announced that the circus would start traveling, so she would get a change of surroundings anyway. Before falling asleep, Crystal was remarkably content. Maybe things had turned out for the best in the end. Hmm. My reasoning behind the saying, uh, I don't Crystal think the boy... Crystal by a familiar voice. Who's there? She called out, but no one answered. Must be. Uh, let me just finish this thought. I thought the the boy was uh, wasn't real, and he was just teaching us a lesson to bring us closer to the circus and to appreciate our surroundings and our friends, sort of thing. But anyways, just a theory. This must be another wish dream. When she heard the disembodied voice again, she assumed she was dreaming, but she was not. This was the second night in a row she had entered a realm between the dream world and her own and this would not be the last time. Her nightly visits were meant to prepare her for what was to come, but she was not yet ready. Ready for what? She called out to the disembodied voice again, but it did not answer her. Then she saw the bear woman in her usual position, only that this was not the bear woman. The being, which only shared appearance with the bear woman, was shuffling a deck of cards. Crystal felt a strange force pulling her towards the table. What is going on here? What is this place? The being did not answer Crystal either, and instead placed four tarot cards on the table. The tower, the moon, the lovers, and temperance. Crystal had never read tarot cards before, but strangely they spoke to her. The tower warned of disaster. Why the tower? The only disaster she could think of was the sheriff, and they had averted that by agreeing to leave the area. Our seems like a... The moon represented fear and anxiety. Again, Crystal was confused. She was less anxious now than before, and she had nothing to fear. The lovers sang of relationship and union. Could it mean the tall lady and the ringmaster would end up together? Or her and the it boy? It certainly didn't mean her and the boy. He was gone and she wasn't even sure she had feelings for him in the first place. Temperance meant patience and purpose. This one Crystal could relate to. She had definitely displayed patience over the last couple of years, but a purpose she had not found yet. Maybe that would come to her now. After all four cards had been placed on the table, the being made pairs of them while never breaking eye contact with Crystal. As the being stared into Crystal's eyes, the room became shrouded in darkness. I'm guessing you want me to pick a pair? Uh, ooh, wow, this is interesting. Uh, I don't know. Moon and Tower or Lover's Temperance? Uh, I'm gonna go with the Moon and Tower. Seems more interesting. From the tarot cards, strange creatures spawned, and they lined up as if they were going to fight each other. Crystal understood it was a game, and then the rules just came to her. She was expected to exploit the weaknesses and strengths of each creature. Stone was strong against fire, but weak against water. Ice was weak to fire, but strong against water. Wait, the ice is strong against water? Uh, okie dokie, uh, what do I do, just attack? Ice attacks water, and stone attacks fire? Oh, I, I fucked that up, didn't I? I attacked myself. Yep. <laughs> Great job there. Uh, <laughs> let's try that again. So, are they gonna move positions? I would rather I would rather if they didn't. Uh, actually, we should move positions, but not now, because... Hold up. Let's do this. And then we change positions. Oh, I forgot the other one attacks. I'm <laughs> doing terribly at this. All right, so he can attack us anymore. And we'll do this. Hopefully they won't move. Oh, they did, fuckers. They have been one 
step ahead of us this entire time. This cannot be. Alright. So... Now we move. And then... They won't move, but he will attack us. I'm not sure what to do, actually. Are we just guard or something? Uh... We, could we can attack, but... I mean... Wait, why did they attack again? Not really sure about that. Uh, Alright, let's see. She's focused, so that's gonna be a problem. But who's gonna bear the brunt of it? We are. So let's just guard here and we can attack the fire. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't, th I don't see we're gonna win this. What the hell? This fight is unbelievably difficult. Or oh, I'm getting my ass kicked here. Are they gonna move? Ah, oh, it's goddamn critical. Damn. All right, uh, we are about to lose here. Cheap burst. All right, let's just attack, I guess. Don't really know what to do, what else to do. Uh, become focused and attack twice next rounds. Um, shit, he's now like focused. Let's move and then guard, I guess. That didn't work. Crystal had lost, and her presence in this world began to fade. Damn. The goose did not cry this morning. Crystal awoke by herself. She had overslept. Everyone else had already left the caravan. Uh, were we meant to lose that? Because that was rather difficult. Uh, that was the strangest dream. Then she remembered that today was the day they would become a traveling circus. She jumped out of bed with excitement. That got my ass handed to me. Hopefully the next couple of fights won't be like that, but damn. 